So we wanted a system to deploy documents to a list of people all at the same time that would uh, give them view uh, privileges and would set the file owner for the file. And uh, we'd like it so it organizes and names the documents as well. So we created this spreadsheet and the way that it works is that we fill out the boxes at the top. So the source file ID, that's based on the file that you'll find in your Google Drive. And all I do is look at the top of the URL and copy the ID, which is after the forward slash after the D, all the way before the edit. We'll copy that, paste it into the spreadsheet. And then the storage folder ID is where the uh, files are going to go. So if I go back to my Google Drive, I want it in this testing folder. So I get the ID, which is right at the end. It's after the blast forward slash. So we'll copy that as well put it into the document and then this is who will own the file uh, you can set that to any Google account this is the Google domain that's being used so uh, we use one called at student.warwickshireac.uk uh, you could have at gmail.com for instance in there and here is a list of the people that would we'll be sharing it with so this is all the information before the at symbol on the email address so we have like a username that we'll be sharing. Um, you can put optionally the first name and the surname in, and this list you can put as many as you like in, and it will process them. However, there is a timeout on Google uh, App Scripts, which means that probably you only want to do maybe about 50 at a time. Okay, so now what we do is go to Options at the top, click on Make Copy for List Below, and then what will happen is it will go through each of these and it will create the files and it will then give you a hyperlink on the names and it will also give you the file ID here uh, so it tells you the two files were created so as I said the file IDs will appear here you don't need those uh, but they're just there for a knowledge that the files have been created and if we click on one of these you can now see that the document's been copied the name is the original name of the file with the surname and first name and then also their user ID displayed in the file name. So it makes it nice and easy to find the files. If we were to go to Google Drive, you can see that it's put the files into that folder and they're easy to identify.